morning and welcome to Fort Seller Elementary School. This is your principal, Mr. Lin, and I hope that you had a wonderful Tuesday yesterday. Today is Wednesday, January 12th, 2022, and it is a day two. Now, before we kick off this wonderful day, I want to invite you to participate in the Mindful Minutes, a good way to get yourself settled and reset for the day. You know, uh, things about yesterday might weigh on us things about tomorrow may weigh on us and you know what none of those are real the past has already happened the future hasn't happened yet the only thing that's real is what's going on right here and right now that's why we always start with just noticing what's around us okay and i know that it is a two-hour delay so i'm so glad that you are still tuning in because while we do the morning announcements typically at another time of the day it's not wrong to do it now, okay? So let's use our eyes and just focus on something that catches your attention. Look at it, study it, notice its shape, its colors, you know, are there curves, are there bends, are there straight lines on it, what texture it is? Are there symbols, perhaps, and shadows? And then with your nose, take a breath in and out and what does that smell remind you what smells first of all do you recognize and what does it remind you of and then with your ears just pause and listen what do you notice what do you hear what sounds are there that you didn't notice until now and finally with your skin what do you feel whether it's your clothing or the coldness of this ha of this room. My office happens to be really cold right now. And, um, and I feel it. I notice it on my skin. So what do you notice with your skin? Now we're going to move on to our breathing technique. Um, yesterday, as I was teaching PE, a lot of kids actually mentioned using the rainbow breathing again. So that's what I'll do. But you can choose whatever breathing techniques you want to use or that you've made up. Remember, at the end of this marking period, starting into going into the third marking period, um, we're going to invite some kids to share with us some of the breathing techniques that you came up with. Now, remember, if you came up with a breathing technique, you need to have a plan for what happens when you breathe in through your nose and fill your belly full of air. What are you going to do there? And then what are you going to do when you let it out through your mouth? Okay, so your breathing technique should have two parts. The breathing in part, what are you going to do when you breathe in? And as you breathe out, what are you going to do when you breathe out? Okay, so a lot of you guys are getting the good, you know, that you guys understand that. Some of you guys have shared with me some of your own breathing techniques, and I love them. Keep that in mind, and we will hopefully be videoing some of you guys. Or maybe you'll be videoing yourself and sharing it with me. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Take your first, first breath in. And out, arriving at this moment and beginning to know that you exist with so many other things you can see, smell, hear, and touch. Breathe in again, nice and slowly. And as you breathe out, do it even slower than you did before. Allow your body to just settle into your chair. Allow your back muscles to relax. Breathe in again. And out. If your brain starts to think about other things other than what's happening right now, breathe in. Maybe it's thinking about something that happened before. Breathe out. Just be kind and bring your attention back to the importance of each breath. How amazing of a blessing it is. Breathe in. And breathe out. And then also think about what feelings you brought to school today. You know, what emotions? Breathe in. Whether they're pleasant emotions, maybe they're not so pleasant emotions. That's okay, too. Breathe out. Don't push those emotions away. Don't push those feelings away. They're real, even the ones that aren't as pleasant. And acknowledge them. Let them know that you know that they're real. Breathe in. Sit with those feelings. Let them be a part of your heart. Be kind to those feelings. Breathe out. And soon they will feel like you recognize them enough for them to move on. Don't forget as you breathe in 
that sometimes those unpleasant feelings become even stronger when you try to shut them out and push them away and breathe out. Let them in. Let them know they're real. And then they'll move on. Now, in a moment, you'll hear a bell or a chime. Listen to it as it gets quieter and quieter. And when you can't hear it anymore, you may then open your eyes and awaken to the world that is around you. Welcome to a new day right here at the fort where you are loved, where you are cared for, and where we want you to succeed. Now, whether you have a great day or not is ultimately your choice. You have to decide. And if you're going to have a great day, choose wisely, work at it, and enjoy the rewards. At this moment, please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You could go ahead and take a seat. I want to thank you for joining me in the Mindful Minute. And you know what was really cool is that yesterday I got to be a substitute in PE for Mr. Babiars. And I got to meet about half of you guys in school, right? And uh, for most of our sessions, we actually ended with a breathing technique. It was really cool to see you guys actually picking up some of those breathing techniques. And it was really cool to do it with you right there in the gym in person because oftentimes we only really get to do it right here on the screen. So that was really neat. Don't forget, we have uh, three expectations. Number one, show that you're respectful to yourself as well as to others. Those of you guys who are in PE, thank you for your respect. You guys were great listeners. You guys walked. You guys sat down where you needed to be seated. Uh, you guys played the game the right way. I know even with builders and bulldozers, that game, uh, it's it's tempting to, to, to cheat a little bit, especially when I say freeze. And so many of you guys chose to do the right thing. And that was really cool. So thank you for being respectful. And by being respectful to me, believe it or not, if you thought about it last night and you thought about how respectful you were to me as well as to other people that day, I bet you you felt proud of yourself. And if you didn't, that's really ought to be how you feel. Show that you're responsible, responsible with your feet and your hands, the words that come out of your mouth. Once again, when I was teaching you guys in PE, many of you guys at least, I know I didn't get to meet all the classes, I saw a lot of great responsibilities. Controlling your hands, controlling your feet, controlling your legs, sitting crisscross applesauce, and controlling uh, not talking. In fact, controlling your ears so you were listening. And that was really, really nice. Also, you know, I got to give a little shout out to a first grade boy yesterday who showed a lot of responsibility with his emotions and his feelings. Uh, In one of our games, we had to pick people who were going to be leaders in this game called Detective. Many of you guys know this. And he was really bummed out. He was really upset that I didn't choose him at all during the game. It wasn't on purpose. We just ran out of time. And I could tell he was getting really frustrated and really disappointed. And if he wanted to cry, I think that would have been understandable. But guess what? As he was talking to me about how disappointed he was, he actually stopped himself and showed some responsibility with his emotions. He didn't say he was going to not be sad. It's okay to be sad. But he also said, you know what? Maybe next time. Maybe the next time we have class, maybe I'll get a shot. And that's all you can ask for, to have a shot. And I thought that was really responsible, very mature. And finally, it showed that that kid was ready to learn, ready to have class. And that's our our third B. Are you ready to learn? Are you ready to not give up? Okay. Now, our character trait for the month is tolerance. That is respecting and accepting and celebrating everybody's differences. The way you look is different than the way I look. The way you feel is different than the way I feel. 
the teams I root for are different than the teams you root for. Many of you guys knew from uh, this week that I'm a big Steelers fan. Many of you guys here in this part of Pennsylvania are big Eagles fan. Maybe we have some friends who are fans of other teams. Maybe you don't like football at all. Maybe you like something else. Maybe you like to read instead. Maybe you like to dance instead. Maybe there are so many other hobbies that are really cool that I don't really get to do as much, but I'm not going to judge you for it. I'm just going to be interested and curious and I want to know more because I think it's amazing. Which leads me to the last point. I love you just the way you are. You know, um, the the author who visited us, right, Miss Garber, two days ago, she told me that her favorite part of the day was when some people, some of you kids, came up to her and said, you love her just the way she was. Yeah, that was awesome. You met your goal, you met the challenge, and you made somebody feel amazing. So I encourage you to keep finding people, friends and grown-ups, and tell them that you love them just the way they are. All right, can't wait to see you guys around. Have a great Wednesday.